This tutorial will demonstrate how to set up Audacity for MP3 exporting. It assumes that you have already downloaded and extracted the LAME encoder and have placed it within your program files Audacity LAME folder. Once you've done that, you come back to Audacity and we need to set it up for the MP3. In this case on the PC, I'll do Edit, Preferences, and here under the audio, I want to um, make sure that I have the single channel one. Part of the reason we do MP3s is because it compresses it to a very small size. And so we also can do settings to help make it even smaller. And so the mono is going to create a smaller file size in the stereo, so we want that to be mono. Then under quality, we'll change some settings as well to make that MP3 as small as possible, yet still holding some decent quality. In this case, under the default sample rate, I'm going to change this to 11,025 hertz. And then default sample format, I'm going to change this to 16-bit. Then under file formats, under MP3 export, is now we have to identify where this lame encoder is. And so here I'll click on find library and it asks me do you want to locate the lame encoder and yes I do and this is where before when we extract extracted the lame zip file we need to go find that and so we put that under my computer in the C drive and program files audacity and this is where we created that lame folder and here is our extracted folder and now here is the lame ENC DLL. So I click on that, double click or click once and hit open, and that identifies the lame encoder. Uh, then we will also change the bit rate here to 16, or excuse me, to 40, and that will create just a smaller file size. I hit OK, and now it's ready to export. So you'll go ahead and you'll do re your recording. When you're finished, hit stop, and then file. Now export as MP3. It asks you to save the file. I would recommend creating inside your My Documents a Courses Text 290 folder and where you can export all of your reflections into. In this case, I'll just put it on my desktop. Save. Under the Edit ID3 tags, you can just leave these alone. There, if you wanted to add the information, you could do that, uh, you, but you don't don't need to. And so I'll just hit OK here, and it's going to export. So there it took and it exported my mp3 file and now I have a nice compressed mp3 file that will work well. Um, it's a good quality reflection uh, but it, also, it is also a smaller file size.